All right, welcome back. So in this chapter, we're going to talk about expression language and how we can do string manipulation in expression language. So if you haven't seen my previous tutorial, make sure you do and go to this uh, repo. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and clone this repo on your local. This is where you have all your templates that we're going to walk through. So basically, um, right now, we're at this point where we're going to do string manipulation. Sorry, object class. String, string. We're gonna do how to manipulate strings using NiFi expression language. So just click on this link if you want to just download this particular uh, template. This will take you to the template. I've already done that. So what I'll do, I'm gonna drag the template on my canvas and look for the template. So string manipulation. All right. So let's put it here and jump into it. Same format as the previous one we instantiate a flow file and then we create some attributes in this case we only create one attribute which is a string this is a string used for the demo and if you see here uh, we also have a particular information here say hey um, you have leading and trailing white spaces this is a new feature added in I think last one or two versions so this is really interesting so I left the, the trailing space uh, on purpose for the demo. Then we have uh, the following up the attribute. We have some string manipulation uh, expression language functions. So let's jump into it and let's start with the append. So the append function will pretty much append this value to the incoming string value. It requires an argument. In this case, what do you want to append? To the incoming thing in my case we're just going to append these three hashes get the limited field so get the limited field um it parses the subject because of the limited line of text and returns just a single field from that limited text so if we look at this one the the, the function is um it requires an incoming string and then an index basically the index of the field to return. So if we're dividing um, a string by comma and you have one single comma, you're probably going to have one and one first value and second value. So in our case, we wanted to return everything before the first comma, hash. So the hash function returns a hex encoded string using the hash algorithm provided. So in our case, it's SHA255. So this can this is used to generate unique keys. You have a big string that it covers, I don't know, megabytes, and you want to lower it down to a unique identifier using a hash. Uh, length. Basically, this uh, will measure, or the output of this will be the number or the length of your string, including um, white spaces, empty spaces. Free append. Like append, uh, this receives uh, an argument. So he will pre-append this three dollar sign to your to the value of your string. Now repeat. This is an interesting function. Basically, he will repeat the incoming string uh, based on the value you give it. So this one receives, uh, an, uh, let's say, how many times do you want it to to be repeated? Replace. Basically, this one will look for an incoming, will look inside the incoming string and he will replace, it will look for a value, replace it with another value. So this one receives two attributes, the value to look for and the value to replace with. Now, replace all. So the replace all function takes two string arguments. Basically, look for this and replace with this. It also it we can also use regex expression as a, as our search item. Now replace empty. Basically, the replace empty function. So the replace empty acts as a callus, or if the if the incoming string is empty, he will replace it with this value. Replace first. So replace function acts as a um, search and replace in this case he will look inside the string for this particular string value and he, at the first um, encounter he will replace it with triple x if you would have more occurrences of this string only first one will be replaced and not not the next one substring 
So the substring function, um, I mean, this is the first of a series of substrings. Um, this returns a person of the subject or the string that it's incoming, giving a starting index position and an optional ending index position. Basically, he's going to return me the first 10 uh, characters in my string. Substring after the incoming string value, if it encounters the string, he will remove uh, everything before, including string, and he will give us only what's left from our text. Uh, this applies the same for return after last. So if you have uh, two occurrences of string in your text, he will choose the second uh, string or the last in your in your in your text to um, be evaluated, and he will return everything after your last string. Substring string before a particular string. So in this case, he will do it in a reverse way. He will remove everything including this value and he will only keep everything before the the string substring before last same approach as uh, substring uh, after last he will keep everything all the values that were encountered previous to finding this string to lower uh, this is a simple function that will change all the upper cases to lowercase if they are found to upper he will change the text to uppercase entirely and trim he will trim all the empty spaces around your uh, incoming text or string not the ones that are in between words all right so we cover all now let's apply and run this and see how the actual data looks we're gonna give it more flow we're gonna start this uh, Let's evaluate the outcome. So you can see I put the original string here at the top and the substring after last, it gives us everything after this value. So you can see uh, it looks like this and make it bigger. Now, substring before last. So we only have an in instance of string. So he's going to capture all this value here. And this is correct. To lower, he lower cased everything in our string. Reappend, he added a dollar sign before. Replace. So you remember we replaced the string with the value line. So whatever the instance string happened, that's where the line it is now. The length is the total length. In this case, it's going to be this total length, including white spaces. Replace first. So we chose to replace the first string in our text with xxx, replace all h with x, so all instances of uh, h will be replaced with upper x. Substring, again, substring everything uh, before a substring based on the index position. So we chose to substring 10 positions, so this is what we get. Pad right. Uh, this doesn't work. Uh, I think this is missing. Replace empty. Basically, uh, nothing happens because the string has a value. Trim. Uh, it trims all the empty spaces around our text. So you can see this is now, it's a clean text. Repeat. He repeats twice the incoming, uh, the incoming text. Uh, to upper. So basically, he will put everything to upper. Get the limited field. See here our delimiter, it's a comma, and we told him to bring me the first value in my list. Basically, he creates a list of this, so this will become value one and then value two. Substring before string, so he's gonna capture everything before string. Append, so he's gonna append the hash value to the incoming string, and this is the hash value of this particular string. This covers all our expression language string manipulation.